another Tablets Glass Emporium YouTube video. Someone saw a piece I'd made a long time ago when we were doing our auction recently. She said, how do you make that? And so I thought I'd do a little YouTube video. It's basically doing a little kind of grove of trees, but rather than using stringers, it's using enamels, or you could use glass line for the trunks, and using bullseye's confetti for the, the sort of green of the leaves which means that you can make a kind of a nice tree scene without using stringers and using bullseye confetti, which is because it's a kind of flat product, you get a lot of, you know, a lot more surface area for grams. So that works really well. And you're just using a few small marini to make it really pop. So today I'm going to show you how to make this.
So unfortunately we had a camera malfunction so it didn't video me making this. Guys, I've used bullseye confetti to um, create the, uh, the leaves at the top. It's quite nice because it's flat and it means it sits really well. Then I put our apples on um, as apples obviously, so there's an apple tree and I put some small fruit up there as well. Now at the bottom all I have added is lots of different fruits of different greens, different sizes. I've added some pink, um, pink and white starflower, um, some mini um, sugar plums uh, and just some purple frit as well as some green frit. Um, so it's quite a simple thing. I like the confetti to do in confetti with leaves. It's quite a cheap way. You get quite a lot of coverage with not very much glass. So that's why it's kind of a good thing to do for leaves. Um, I've used it a lot in projects in the past, doing leaves and with the enamel um, as the trunks. It's quite a good way of not being too much uh, glass on a piece and just adding a small amount of thought. And I quite like having this clear section in the middle. Um, it's gonna, you're going to see what's going on behind the piece and that gives a feeling of depth. So this can go in the kiln, be tack fused and we can have a look when it comes out. So here are our apple trees out of the kiln. I think they look lovely. I think it's a lovely la lush apple orchard. Um, nice little flowers at the bottom just slots into one of these stands. We've got the link to the stands below. Please look in comments, all the links are there to um, these fantastically uh, 3D printed stands that work really well for this. I mean, I like it because you've got the kind of, um, uh, because you've got the Tecta, one, it sort of looks quite nice on both sides, um, and two, it, as you're looking through it, it sort of it feels like, you know, you've got light coming from behind, which is nice. Um, I hope you've liked this video. Remember, you can get all our products, including the apples and uh, the uh, flowers, from our website, tabithasglassemporium.com. Sign up to our newsletter there, like this video, share this video, subscribe, turn on notifications, do all of those things. Until next time, happy fusing. Mm -hmm.